My name is James Boston. I work for CPS Energy with the Customer Engineering Department. Right now we're standing on the grounds of our newest uh, solar farm, Blue Wing Solar. It has about 215,000 solar panels. It's going to create about 14 megawatts of AC power, 16 megawatts of DC power. It's enough to supply about 3,500 homes to our city of San Antonio. What this means for CPS Energy in San Antonio is that uh, it's a change in methodology of how we supply power. Traditionally, we have um, coal, we have gas, and we have nuclear energy, but now we're looking at doing more renewables such as solar like we have here at Blue Wing. We also have wind energy in West Texas, which is CPS is one of the largest uh, buyers of wind energy, and we also have methane gas right here in San Antonio. As a customer, I find it interesting that CPS is willing to look at different avenues of providing energy. They are responsive to the customer's request to look at renewable energy, uh, non-traditional standard uh, forms of fuel. We care about what our, our community cares about. Whatever decisions that we make here at CPS Energy is really for the community. I'm Gwen Young and I'm an environmental scientist for CPS Energy. My particular job as an environmental scientist here is natural resource management. And that involves anything to do with regulatory issues with Texas Parks and Wildlife or Texas Commission of Environmental Quality relating to natural resources. And as you can see, we have a lot of natural resources, particularly at this site. One of my primary goals here in the last year and a half is to reintroduce native grasses and plants whenever we re-landscape or whenever I have that opportunity. Revegetating with native species increases the habitat for our wildlife, for everything from invertebrates, insects and butterflies, all the way up to roadrunners and raptors. Our water quality is good. As a matter of fact, Calaveras Lake is a contact lake, which means that people can use personal watercraft on it. It also supports a large variety of wildlife, anything from the fish to the birds. I'm Carla De La Chapa, and I work in the Environmental Management Department at CPS Energy. We handle a wide range of projects, including our tree program, our green shade tree rebate program. We also ensure compliance with all federal regulations and also our state environmental regulations. There are two parts to our tree program. One part is our tree giveaway. We go to several different events, including the Earth Day giveaway, our own Live Green Fest, and we give out several thousands of trees to customers. The second part to our tree program is our green shade tree rebate. And that gives customers the opportunity to buy up to three trees, place them around their home in order to reduce energy consumption. And we give $50 for every tree that they plant. According to the Department of Energy, properly placed trees can save up to 25% of a resident's energy consumption. CPS Energy is looking at more sustainable paths to the future, is always thinking about the community and our customers to make sure that we have safe, reliable, and affordable energy. We all want our customer to be comfortable. We all want to have that customer commitment and to provide them the power that they not only want, but the power that they need. I believe CPS Energy is looking towards the future in terms of sustainability, not just on the energy side, but sustainability in what we take from the planet, in what we take from our surroundings, and what we put back. 